What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JB and Mr. Major Man, Mr. Five Four here to welcome y'all back to the showroom today. The review for the day, oh man, well it's Thursday, so I might as well call this a throwback video. But uh, for almost a whole year, there was a shoe I was supposed to do a review on. I never got around to doing it until I like looked through my uh, my catalog and seen that I did not review the shoe. And I'm trying to find out why did that shoe slip my mind because I really like love that shoe, but um. Probably got lost in the mix because a whole lot of things was coming around that time. But July, June last year was a slow month too, like so to say, as far as sneakers releases. But um, uh, for some odd reason, I never got around to it, and I, I'm trying to remember what the hell was going on. But for all intents and purposes, y'all could call this a filler village video, or whatever the case may be. But uh, I really want to get this review out because this was a dope shoe in my opinion. And I just really want to get my output, my input, uh, my opinion, so to say on this particular shoe so without any further ado let's get into it as you can see right here you got a jordan 12 box so that should already be a hint of what it probably is and i see it came out around this time so let's get into the style code the tagging air jordan 12 retro gym red white black style code 130690 color code 600 and the retail was $190. Man, a whole year. So this y'all already give y'all a clue. Y'all should already know what this is. Just pull it right out. Bam. Look at that. And let me show y'all something, man. Look, like I still got the champs paper, the champs bag in here. The receipt. Like I have not even worn this shoe. Like I just threw it in threw it in the closet or whatever and just like completely forgot about this shoe for real man but as i as i said look at that date on there 7 2 16. that's crazy man a whole year later and i did not do this on purpose like for real i know you got a lot of people be like oh man you're just doing that for clickbait no i don't i don't do that clickbait shit for real but uh in any case let me get both of them out Bam! Air Jordan 12 Ultimate Cherry Gym Red goes by many names, but in my opinion, this is probably one of the dopest colorways ever, man. This was a PE. I just can't remember the player, which player had this PE. Some people, I think it was Bibby. I think it was, but I'm not 100% sure. But this was a PE shoe at first, but then, like Nike, at typical Jordan Nike fashion, they Went ahead and released the uh, uh, the sample pairs into the general public now. Now this is a GR. But uh, let's just go over the shoe. As you can see, man, you got the white bottom with the red traction pods. You got the black carbon fiber shank plate on the bottom. You got a black 23. You got a black Jumpman as well. Uh, head to the mid. You got a predominantly white midsole. With the white reptilian ram right here. You got Jumpman in white as well, stitched. You got a red uh you got a red back right here, gym red back right here, which transitions all the way to the upper. As you can see, also in that tumbled leather gym red color, which is very, very nice. You got the metallic uh you got metallic red on the lace holders. The lace holders, you got red laces going up, you got a white two three going down the uh, tongue also got a white man on the on the top of the uh white gentleman on the top of the tongue you can see it go all the way right there a, and this is a very this is a good leather man this is a french blue like a cross between french blue and um bread 11 i mean bread uh 12 my bad my bad but as you can see on the inside you got a white jump man size tagging you got the tag right there on the back of the tongue production dates on the back uh on the back heel portion you got that 23 in red you got that all black uh pull tab with the jordan tech jordan on there quality inspired by the greatest player ever and also a white jump man with a red backing on there and nothing on it nothing on the back tab my personal opinion i really like the shoe but my thing was i probably forgot about this shoe because of another gym red shoe that released around that time let me just go ahead and pull it out it probably was because of the air more temple which was another alternate color uh 
of the up temple more temple line for scotty pippen but as you can see man very very similar man like if you could have missed one and got the other like it would have been perfectly fine but like this is one of my favorite shoes as well right here if you've been on my social media platform you see i rocked this a couple of times so have yet to rock this one i don't know why i ever rocked it probably ain't just find the time to rock it but couldn't go wrong with it more up tempo because i felt like a lot of people just don't like this shoe like a lot of people gave it a nickname the ant bit stumpers or whatever the case may be and like i said everybody's entitled to like a shoe that they like some people like the robins some people don't like the up tempo i like the up tempo but i don't like the robins but in any case like i said man this this shoe went along with a whole lot of red shoes that went, came out but um Resale's not too bad on this, so if you want a pair, you should be able to go pick up a pair on StockX, go to eBay, even uh, through a Facebook group or whatever the case may be. But in my opinion, this is a very dope shoe, and like you should really get your hands on this shoe. Like if you don't have the, the Cherry 12s, this is a good alternate for you to have. Like for real, for real. Definitely a dope shoe, man. But uh, like I said, man, like Jordan Brand, when it comes to red shoes, it's usually... Uh, like, they usually sell out in the long run. Like I said, they restocked on these probably about two, maybe, I think two or three times uh, after the release date. But definitely a dope shoe. And, like, it's very comparable to the Jim Red Bulls over Broadway 10s. Like, as far as the quality is concerned, like, both of them have that tumble leather on there. Same, similar colorway, except this one has the gray bottom. This one has the white bottom on it. But definitely, definitely a dope shoe in my opinion. Like I said, it was a 30th anniversary uh, shoe. So, I mean, this was part of that first wave of re remastered quality, which is still good in my opinion. The quality on it is still good. Like, it's very, very good purse-like leather on there. But uh, these 12s, like, these just took the cake for me. And especially with that white bottom on there, like the Obsidian 12s, I really, really, really was digging this shoe for all those wonderful reasons man but like i said people probably uh a lot of people give this shoe hate because it has a white bottom and like people have a thing against white bottom but like everybody knows i love white shoes i love white on shoes but um uh, like i said man i just consider this a throwback thursday and i really wanted to get this review and get my opinion of it my overall opinion of it this is a dope shoe i mean not too many glue marks on there if you if the camera could pick it up like you barely could see them but it's that's typical um that's typical on jays man you're gonna have a few little glue marks going across that lining right there but man like i said man on the medial side as well man it's the same as the uh the uh the outside as you can see with that reptilian skin and everything but all in all man this is a very very dope shoe can't say it enough man but um as, as i always say man uh appreciate y'all for Stay in tune watching the videos, man. Like I said, I'm pushing out more content all the time. And as always, man, uh, follow me on all my social media platforms. Snubs, uh, Facebook, Instagram, you, uh, YouTube, of course. Uh, Twitter as well. And, uh, man, keep vibing with your boy, man. As always, man, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. I appreciate y'all, man. And I'll be getting back at y'all on the next video. And I am JC Baby, and I'm out. You did.